Hey, just wanted to put this quick website review together for you. You know, I've got your site pulled up. I want to go over some tips and tricks, some things you could do to help improve your rankings on Google and compare your site directly to some of the top local competitions so you can see what you're what they're doing. The three things that I'm going to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. So we'll get into what those are. I always start with content. With Google, content is king. So, you know, going down through your site, the overall layout of your site looks great. I like the before and after pictures, but there's not a ton of content here. You know, you've got this little bit down here, a little paragraph here, and that's really about it. We recommend about 1,500 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 words on those back service pages. And the reason for that is we want to be able to fit those keywords and keyword phrases that people are typing into Google organically into the content on your page. It's not the only way to, found, to get found for a particular keyword, but it's the easiest and fastest way for Google to find them and know that your site is relevant to what the people are searching for. So I've got a couple of the local top guys pulled up here. And, you know, going down through the site, you know, nice layout, but still not a ton of content on here. You know, they've got a paragraph next to each deal. They may have 750 to 1,000 words on there, but they're probably far short of that 1,500. Go over here and check these guys out. You know, again, nice layout, a couple paragraphs here and there, but not a ton of content. On the content side, these guys would be super easy to beat out. Uh, we use a tool called Arifs to really break these sites down. Currently, your site is not showing up with any data here. I don't know if it's a fairly new website. Sometimes it takes these sites a couple of months to really catch on and start picking up everything that's on there with the tools that we use. But, you know, going over here and looking, they've got 21 keywords here. This guy's got 34, so we'll check his out, see what we can find. Um, Precision, that, you know, that's their name. I'm not really going to count that. What I like to look for are kind of like pressure washing and then the city or power washing and then the city that you're in. I'm not seeing great examples of what I like to see in here. So I'm going to go, we'll check out the other guy and see what he's got. You know, like here's one that I would consider to be a generic keyword. And I know a lot of the pressure washing companies use this as a keyword, but you know, it's got house cleaning and your city and state. There's 20 people a month searching for that, so that's not a huge volume for that particular keyword, but it is a good example of what I like to look for. I call them generic keywords. It says what you do and where you do it. So those are the type of things I like to look for. We keep them location specific, and I'm still not seeing the top, you know, they've got pressure washing Jackson, Mississippi, you know, that's Another one of those generic type of keywords. I don't know if you cover that area or not, but we could definitely go in and do some more research on seeing exactly what people are looking up in these areas. But I just wanted to try to give you an example of what some of the keywords could be. The second thing would be your citations. As you see, I typed in pressure washing, you know, your city and state up here. You've got some ads here. Then it goes right into what we call the map pack. You need to get your Google My Business page set up. We call that the GMB. Uh, get that set up and verified if you haven't done that. Once you do that, start adding citations. And what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the internet. Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle, there's hundreds of them out there. It's just a matter of tracking them down and getting your information in there. But you want that you, know, you want those listings to exactly match the business name, address, and phone number that you have on your Google My Business page. Some of the other factors into getting into this map pack are going to be your star rating, the number of reviews that you have, the number of pictures you put on your Google My Business page, and making sure that page is 100% filled out and optimized. So there are other factors outside of just the citations, but the citations is one of the biggest factors into getting into this map pack. The third thing would be backlinks. And again, like I said, this isn't really showing any data here, but just to explain what a backlink is, it's any website that I can go to that has something I can click on that takes me to your website. So 
some of your citations will give you backlinks. You know, say you got into Yellow Pages and I found you in that directory. If in that listing there's something I can click on that takes me to your site, that is a backlink. It's really a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more powerful or the more popular Google thinks you are and the more authority they're going to give you. But not all backlinks are created equal. Definitely avoid the spammy type of backlinks. You know, you don't want to get a bunch of those. Those at at some point can actually hurt your rankings and pull you down and tank your site according to Google. Some of the other ways to get backlinks outside of your citations are going to be um, blog commenting, guest posting on blogs. There's lots and lots of ways to get backlinks. If you're going to go the blog route, do try to keep them relevant to the industry that you're in because those are going to pass the most power and authority to your page. You know, if we go over here and look, this guy's only got one backlink. This guy's only got one backlink, so they're not killing it on that aspect for sure. Um, generally right here, I would tell you about my copycat method where we can go in, see where these guys are getting backlinks from. We can check the power and the authority of these pages, make sure they are the type of backlinks that we want for you. And they go to all of those same pages and try to get you a backlink in the same place. However, since these guys only got one, we could check out this one and see if we like it and try to get that one for you. But, um, you know, there are other ways we can find backlinks. But generally, like I said, we'll go in and see what these guys are doing. And you copy the guy that's winning. You know, if it's working for them, it'll work for you. And then once we get caught up with them, we just go out and find some more on our own. Beat these guys at their own game. But that is my basic overview for you. You know, I hope it helps you out. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.